Governor of Kwara State, Abdulaziz, cries out again, I want Fulani out. They are destroying the land. Insecurity is blowing out of control. Oga Abdulaziz, welcome to the show this morning, or will I call it the news outlet? Why are you crying like on a more serious note? The governor of Benue State, uh, Governor Samuel Otom, is not is from the north because if they want to you know they just group them to the north yes uh you don't have to have fulanese in your state yesterday we brought you up to st up to speed that um where he was saying that the fulanese have outnumbered the indigenous people and some villages is more fulanese than the people and is now causing a threat because they are having what we call, you know, they want to supremacy and they are beginning to, you know, team up against the people and insecurity is rising. Now you are crying to Buhari that you should get the full honey out. I don't know how Buhari can sincerely help you, Mr. Abdulaziz. You have, like what Samuel Otom has done in the whole of the North, is one of the governors who has put a bound on open grazing and has said, we don't want this. So if you accept it because of your sentiment with Buhari, now there is what we call action began consequences. I mean, actions began consequences. So if you are accepting something, you should accept it in whole, not in parts. So don't cry to anybody. Why are you crying over spilled milk? Is in your hand, Mr. Governor. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Again, the governor of Quara cries out. I want Fulani out of my state. They are causing so much insecurity. Governor Abdulaziz has expressed his view on the anti grazing, says the South has banned open grazing, and this has brought an influx of Fulani headsmen into his state. They have started spreading into the multiple villages in the state and outnumbering the people, making a serious threat on the indigents in that region and area. The communities are beginning to cry out that insecurity is ravaging and these people are more intimidated as they seriously are now outnumbering the indigents and taking them captives. So, excuse me, we'll pause here. We'll pause here, please. We have to pause. So, Mr. Abdulaziz, is it okay to say that this full and this is really their mission statement? Because when we are saying it, it is as though we were fabricating a story. We were trying to say what was not there. We are just being, you know, uh, I mean, our usual uh, formulating formula. Is it okay to say, because you are crying out now for your people. Let's continue. The governor spoke recently again, saying that the influx of the full and is, is due to the bomb on open grazing imposed by the southern governors which has led all to come straight into Kwara State. Kwara State used to be very peaceful and insecurity minimal and we are minding our business. But with the ban on open grazing, the Fulanese are flock into Kwara and Kwara State is now breeding with a lot of Fulanese and the villagers are crying out because they feel unsafe, threatened by the outnumbering of Fulanese coming both, coming both from the north and the south due to the ban on open grazing and flocking into their states. And the villages now are, are combed up with Fulanese. They cry out and is begging that the federal government look into the southern governor's ban so that the Fulanese can be taken off and bring a breathing space to his people who are now not happy. Traditional rulers crying out and saying we cannot accommodate them anymore. I therefore call on President Muhammad Buhari to look at this issue as my state has become unsafe. Oh, you are still you are still speaking English. It is because, you know, these people, eh, I mean, those in government, honestly speaking, I sincerely, to be quite candid, eh, I sincerely wondered why they are so wicked. I, 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 I mean, why they are so devilish in their approach and in their manner to things and to life. To be quite candid. To be very honest, because you know, you know the reason why the, you, 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 you have an understanding what is going on. You know, I mean, in science, they will say the causative agent. You remove the causative agent and then you have restored the, you restored whatever the issue is. You know that this is the problem. You know. You know this is what is causing the insecurity. You are not oblivious to risk. You will know. 
that it is because of the influx of the Fulanese and now they are becoming intimidating to your people. But guess what? Your personal bias because you want to you want to look good on Buhari, yeah? And guess what? <clears throat> I pray people do not start dying because, I mean, they, they come, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but the bad eggs among them, there is what we call the bloodthirstiness of them. I mean, they don't, they don't have value for life. The value for life, it's, I mean, they, probably they've already committed the acts before they think about what they just did, probably. So, I mean, there is no really records to say, uh, let's be cautious, let's put this and that and that in place. There is no that law and order, no that honest, genuine. People are crying out in the villages and here you are, still speaking English and doing press conferences. Why not make hail while the sun shine? Take the right step and move on. Instead of you still speaking English and saying, well, uh, we, blah, 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 blah. You're just like, seriously, don't worry. You know, by the time it has not got in, the thing has not really, when, when it should pinch you, they will not tell you, put you pick it. You know, women, at times you go to a party, you come back with the shoes in your hand. Uh -huh. The shoes has not pained your feet. That's why you're still, you're still managing it. When you really, when the pain, when the ache gets, get, gets there, when it gets to that point, they won't tell you. You you will be the one. You'll be the one advising others. They won't tell you. You are still speaking English. That the southern governors, their ban on open grazing has led to blah, blah, blah. Really? It's crying out. Yesterday, it spoke that uh, there is insecurity. Today, again, you are still speaking. Abdulaziz, welcome. Welcome. Do, you better do right by your people. Okay? You are asking Buhari whether they should send them away or that they should bring them in. Really? And you think Buhari has answer for you? Go and see what is going on in the north. Go and see what is going on in the north. Did you see what they did yesterday in the east? In Enugu precisely? Did you see what they did? And all of you, are everybody is quiet and pretending that all is well. Unless we stop this deceit we've put on ourselves. I don't, th I don't see us getting very far from the, from the reality of what we are, the, the, the consequences of the actions we are taking as a people and as a government unless we we come to comes in comes unless we come in terms with truth we were deceiving ourselves okay we're really deceiving ourselves please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless you have a fantastic day from us is bye for now bye